in a in a surprising way, the Godfather would actually give some of the women's wrestling talent a real opportunity as well. I mean, I've had had Victoria on the show, dear friend of mine. She debuted as a Godfather Ho. I believe Lita did as well. Um, a few kind of unexpected stars emerged out of being your your ladies. Well, what happened back then was they were still more divas than they were wrestlers. And so a lot of the girls didn't know how to wrestle. So all the Lita's and the Ivories and the Victorias, these girls are coming in. There's no spots for them. There's no girls for them to wrestle. And so they would offer them the chance. Hey, you can go out as one of Godfather's hoes if you want. And, you know, and some of them bit on it. Some of it didn't. Um, I know Lita probably <laughs> regrets it. But uh, like I was at a signing here this past weekend in Florida. And uh, she was there, her and Trish and somebody else, Mickey James. I think they were all signing together. And I'll go out of my way not to go to her side of the room out of respect because she actually leaded did my wife a favor because the girls that night were really ugly. And she, my wife is one of the top leaders to doing that. But uh, out of respect, I stay away from Lita's corner because if I go over, they'll be like, hey, Lita, there's your pimp. There's your pimp, Lita, you know? <laughs> So I, I kind of, anytime she's around, I kind of stay away from her. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. No, I mean, I know Victor, I was spoken to Victoria about it. I mean, it was a break for her. It was a chance for her to yeah. get on TV, gave her an in. It's TV time, yeah. isn't it? Uh, a lot of, there used to be in America, I don't know about over there, but in America, they used to have the Budweiser, two blonde girls, the Budweiser twins. Yep. They were they were Godfather's holes in L.A. I a lot of the girls became video girls. And I mean, a lot of them, I was laughing because they would get in touch with me and say, look what I got from that, you know? And, and I used to tell the girls when they did it, I'd be like, this would be the only fun time it will be being a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, when you, so when you cross the Atlantic, then, and you come, out, you come over and see us in the UK, who sorts out your ladies? Like, who, who found you your, your um, British hoes? Uh, nah, these days, they do the promoters. I don't have that to do with it. I'm not in the whole business no more. I'm in the smoke business. It's not the whole trade anymore. It's the smoke, it's the smoke trade. trade. Yeah. But no, I don't. I, we uh, we we had a little investment in one of the strip clubs here in Vegas. We sold it. Uh, I have. I'm out of that business completely. Mm. Uh, no more naked ladies. Now it's no more just naked ladies. Nah. Now nah, I'm all done. Like I said, it's a smoke train. Now I have, I have a line of cannabis of products called Smoke Train, and uh, you know, I do that and some other stuff. But uh, yeah. no more pimping. 